Hello everyone, my name is uh, Lito Caesar. I am originally from El Salvador. I came here to this country, to the USA, uh, when I was 12. When I first saw the dance, I fell in love with it right away. For me, it was like amazing. I could relate myself doing this beautiful dance. You know, I said, that's me. I want to do that. And I could be very, very good at that as well. I was so inspired. I saw this move, which was popping first. Then I saw the hand spin by my, my friend, uh, Jose Alaniz. You know, that just, just uh, my mind was just like, wow, I didn't know I could do that with my body, you know? So, you know, after that, of course, you know, I, I'm, I'm originally here. Um, I came to the, the MacArthur Park area, which is uh, here in um, Alvarado and 7th. And, you know, here in my neighborhood, you know, which is a beautiful neighborhood as well, you know, unfortunately, I landed in a, in a very uh, tough, um, you know, neighborhood. You know, we had drugs, we had, you know, uh, prostitution, you know, you had gangs. It was infected, it was infected you know, and, um, you know, our role models was, was really a, a challenge to find someone to be a role model to. So, but here comes hip hop. I think hip hop for me became an amazing role model because it kept me away from trouble. It kept me away from the streets. It gave me a purpose. It, it gave me access to my own power, which was my happiness, you know. And when I, when I started dancing, I started discovering that this dance made me a lot happier and, it, and it, it felt me, it felt comfortable and I wanted to master it, you know. So going through all the struggles, you know, even coming from El Salvador, you know, when the war was happening over there, it was, it was, it was sad to see, a, I mean, an 11 year old kid seeing a war, seeing people get killed, you know, it's, it's very devastating. Coming to this, uh, coming to America, you know, it was a little different, but still the environment was not the greatest. So hip hop made a profoundly difference in my life. And I thank God for hip hop. Thank God for Radiotron, because back in the also 80s, you know, I landed at this beautiful, uh, just, you know, around the corner, like, you know, three minutes from here, where Radiotron uh, was a, a, it was a uh, community center. And this is where I met all my friends. You know, I met Oracle, Kid Tough, Little Lewis, Willpower, Baby Huey, and, and then the list goes on and on. And this is where the Air Force crew came came all about, which we, we made up back in 1984. And this is where we contribute. We actually uh, expanded. We started experimenting. We adapted the spinning, you know, from New York. And we just pretty much mastered it and innovated the dance, you know. And, uh, you know, we also uh, pioneered some of the power moves and some of the air moves that we, uh, that we contribute to the culture. So after that, you know, I had the opportunity to start traveling around the world which I didn't know that they were actually doing it in, in Asia. They were, doing, they were doing it in Europe. And I was so inspired because I was like, wow, they adapted the culture. And it was so cool to see that. And they adapted in such a way that it was, uh, I think, never experienced before, you know, especially here in America. You know, so, um, you know, and, and it's amazing how we can relate with each other, you know, because here you have someone from, you know, Europe, not able to speak the same language, but we can communicate. And I think to me that's very, very powerful and very, very powerful and unique because as you can see, hip hop is very, um, um, it's, it's very diverse. It has no walls, you know, it, it, it breaks barriers. And I think that's what hip hop does here and also around the world. And I think that's very, very cool. You know, I started traveling uh, all around the world. I've been over 37 countries. I landed at the Buckingham Palace, you know, performed for the Queen right next to Paul McCartney, Elton John, Phil Collins, you know, uh, Ricky Martin. And I was very fortunate and privileged to be, you know, from the Latino culture to actually, you know, be in, uh, in England and represent and being invited at the Buckingham Palace. I think that the people from there were just like uh, so blown away to see hip hop has gone from, you know, back in, back in like, 69, when the locker started, you know, and also in New York, and, and, you know, 40 years later, here we are. Here we are here today, you know, so it's been amazing just to actually, a, a, an amazing learning experience and going through the struggles, you know, and how you're able to see the evolution of a very powerful uh, movement that came from the urban neighborhoods, you know, and, and thank God for that because, you know, once again, I'm alive and I'm here telling you the story. I'm here at MacArthur Park. You know, I've grown so much. I, I experienced amazing things. 
and but it gave me access to my own power and my own uh, my, my just my who I truly I am and when I dance you're able to see it I'm able to express it and you can see the velocity you can see the, the love you can see the, the happiness and the fulfillment of, of how how it really is once you embrace this culture you know and I think dance is such a beautiful it's such a beautiful thing